Cadillac launched their new CT6 sedan, their flagship, with a lot of pomp and circumstance. It flew us in helicopters and treated us to some amazing meals cooked by some amazing chefs. And that's just to fill in for that executive experience that comes with the car. And they really killed it. I'm Tom Albrecht, and this is FLD Tours. Cadillac is launching into the world their new CT6 sedan, and the first thing I would say to the competition is, watch out. This range-topping sedan will be leading the charge for future brand development and direction. Its length is close to that of the BMW 7 Series and an S-Class, but weighs only as much as a CTS, which is equivalent to that of a 5 Series and an E-Class. The weight savings is a result of some incredible engineering and technology, but that's not the only thing Cadillac is debuting with the CT6. Speaking of weight, the lightest version of the car comes in at 3,657 pounds, which compared to the competition is absolutely impressive. Thanks to GM's engineers in finding ways to maximize aluminum, steel, and in some places a combination of the two welded together, which is a patented process, they have set the bar for chassis engineering. The CT6 comes with three engines. The 2.0-liter turbo is a rear-wheel drive only with no magnetic ride control, putting out 265 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque with a price starting at $54,490. The middle offering is a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 with 335 horsepower and 285 pound-feet of torque starting at $55,495. The top car comes in with a 3 liter twin turbo V6 putting out 400 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque turning at $64,395. Both the 3.6 liter V6 and the 3 liter twin turbo come with all-wheel drive and magnetic ride control standard. Between the engine options, there's a choice of luxury, premium luxury, and the top level trim of platinum, which is not available in the 2 liter turbo. If you get the platinum trim with the twin turbo motor, expect to pay $87,465. Bear in mind these prices don't include destination. The platinum level is more or less fully loaded. With those prices in mind, the loaded range topping platinum is decked out with enough tech and power that it has a really good chance of drawing people away from an S-Class and a 7 Series. What do you get with the Platinum? Here's what's standard. All the driver safety systems, enhanced vision and comfort packaging, including rear camera mirror, which offers a widescreen view of what's going on behind the car in the rear view mirror. The rear seat package with reclining massaging seats. The Bose Panoray sound system loaded with 34 speakers that delivers incredibly clear and powerful sound throughout the car active chassis package and night vision with pedestrian detection and warning. I can tell you right off the bat, the tech in the CT6 is so impressive and the comfort is world class that it makes the driving experience really memorable. Some other neat features that are part of the enhanced vision package include a system that acts almost like a dash cam system. You insert an SD card into a designated slot in the trunk and it works like any other consumer grade dash cam. It's great for track days like Chevy's PDR, but it's also meant to cover you in case of an accident. Another great thing about some of the tech in the CT6 is that it's future-proofed. Seriously, the rear entertainment system has an HDMI port, among other media inputs, that supports Google Chromecast, so you're not married to the built-in Blu-ray DVD system of the car. Also, Cadillac has shown intent to offer the Super Cruise semi-autonomous driving system starting in 2017. The driving experience is on point, but I'm partial to the 2.0-liter turbo over the 3.0-liter twin turbo. And here's why. The extra weight in the front of the car makes a big difference. For city driving, all engine trims are excellent, but when it comes to hammering into the corners, the 2.0-liter is light on its front feet and makes for an excellent driving experience in the corners. While the twin turbo is mighty quick in the straightaways, the added weight in the front end adds a little more inertia when you combine that with the magnetic ride control working tirelessly to keep the car level. It makes for an odd sensation because the car does stay level, but you feel the weight pushing into the corners. Talking about the interior, the command elements have gone for a more Spartan feel, but I feel like too much has gone into the Q system and away from driver and actual center console buttons. I would prefer more action in the center console. Gone is the capacitive touch buttons for most of the climate control systems, except for the volume control, that's still capacitive. And the buttons are now on a completely flat face plate surface. The plastic over said buttons gives way to a mechanical click, which initiates the desired action. 
Seats themselves in the front and back are incredibly comfortable and make for a relaxed driving experience. Although they lack aggressive side bolsters, so there's a little less than desired support when going hard into the corners. The Q system is still touchscreen but comes with a touchpad that snaps to available interactions on the screen along with buttons. Decent usability, especially since the touchscreen feels set further back from the driver. The new screen size is impressive and a lot larger. The CT6 is a testament to incredibly well thought out and well planned product execution. It also gives insight into the aggressive changes that are going on in Cadillac today. If you were not a fan of Cadillac from the past, it's definitely time to take another look at what's coming out of their New York headquarters and into showrooms. Yes, Cadillac flew me out to California to drive their car and provided an excellent experience. But there was a purpose to that experience. It was meant to be an executive experience just like the car is meant to be an executive's car. So make sure you check out the CT6 when it hits showrooms in the next coming months. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Albrecht and this is FLD Tours.